Okay, today we have a video about some of these old antique cameras that I've been collecting um, from my grandparents and some other people I know. Uh, right here is a little Ansco vest pocket camera, um, and this is edition number two. I'll be showing you guys the, uh, the actually how to make uh, pictures, photographs from this camera in a second. There's a little little packet that comes with it. It's an original box and everything. Um, accordion style, of course. A um, little problem on there is that there's a little dent in the accordion right there. Um, but it's still in great condition throughout the years. Uh, there's a couple little settings on it that you can mess around with. Um, very, very nice kept camera. Probably uh, not my favorite. I'll show you my favorite here in a second. But it's a pretty good camera. Here's the... Uh, Here's the manual, uh, right there, number two, how to make photographs with the Ansco vest pocket, number two. Uh, here's the back of the manual. I found the date on it. Dates back to April 1st, 1919. I know you can't see that. I need to upgrade a camera, but you know how it goes with, uh, with currency around these days. So, there's the handbook there. Pretty worn. Uh, does, it's not bonded together that well anymore. Here's the second segment. Um, these are three little um, unmarked cameras. They intimidate. Not intimidate. Um, they act like a little browning, but uh, they're not. Um, the lettering on them have been uh, slightly removed because they're really old, dusty been on my shelves for a while. Um, I'm trying to read one now. Um, it says the uh, it's this uh, the one right there you just saw was a number two, and it said uh, it says on the carry band, cartridge Hawkeye Model C. I don't know what that means. That's probably what you put in the uh, put in there. Here's the yeah. There's three of these that were unmarked. I was having trouble with the hatch there. Um, Again, it's kind of hard to read the lettering or so old. Made in USA. Um, East Mint. Oh, these are Kodaks. Never saw that before. Yep. Eastman Kodak. Uh, can't see a date on it. I think it's there. Yep. Uh, here's another one. Like I said, there's three of them. I think, yeah same one so these are these are all pretty old cameras uh, I enjoy them I mean they just sit on my desk and they're pr they're pretty unique to have in your house but uh, not many people are carrying around old cameras these days all right I got two um, brownings for you here um, this was the bigger of the two um, I'm not sure what model number it is I'm sure it's on the camera I'm just a little lazy so that's a spin wheel there, roll of film. That's the uh, the lens shutter right there. If you wanted to ever use that, uh, these are these uh, both of these are in pretty good condition. The uh, the optic lens still works for like capturing pictures and uh, pretty good camera. I think right there is a button you'd use to flash the camera film or the uh, the lens to take a picture. Here's the mini. This is a little Browning 620, a little Browning Junior. Um, very nice camera. My grandpa gave it to me. Um, yeah, I was just still in great condition. Everything's pretty much fine about it. Um, yeah, let me spin this around a little bit more. One of my one of my little favorite ones. Not not the best one. The best one comes last, but you'll see why. Uh, oh, is this it? Maybe, maybe it doesn't come last. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the big hoss. This is another Ansco uh, vest. Well, it's not a vest pocket. It's kind of too big to be a vest pocket, <laughs> unless you had pretty big pockets back then. Uh, this was the number four by Ansco. Um, very, very sleek and attractive. Uh, it's also an accordion style. I'll pull it out here in a second. Uh, lots of things you can trinket around with on it. 
little lever that locks into place. Uh, maroon accordion wood inner framing. Um, I, I couldn't tell you what the material around the lens is. It looks gold, but I doubt that. That little cube right there is a viewer. Uh, folds out. Get a better view. Up there is, a, I think, I don't know what all of the little measurements mean, but there's like range, distance, and all of that stuff back here. Uh, that's where you'd slide in a little little picture right there if you wanted to take one you can see through there and uh, that's how you take your picture um, let me see here alright this is the uh, they call this one the traveler time traveler 120 it's a little tiny box camera um, uh, this was given by my uh, grandpa's uh, my grandma died so my grandpa went off and got a girlfriend so this is her little camera she didn't want anymore and uh pretty nice little box camera put some film in there do whatever you want with it I'm just gonna spin it around here for a second and uh right up at the top top right there is that's uh that's where I guess they originated putting